Hello and welcome to Ecoholics. I am Sana Srivastava and here in this lecture we'll discuss about the most controversial topic in economics in the recent days. That is about the RBI's surplus transfer money to central government. Now the figure is 1.76 lakh crore. Now here the question arises that in the recent budget the government announced that government will receive the RBI surplus amount of around 90,000 crore that is from this particular financial year from RBI. Then what is about the extra 86,000 crore that actually led to the total figure 1.76 lakh crore. Now here the question is that what will be the impact on RBI, what will be the actually helpful, what will uh, actually help the government of India and what will be the scenario on these transfers of reserves from Reserve Bank of India to government. Now here the question arises are these type of funds transfer are discretionary or it depends on certain protocols, laws, rules, regulation etc. Apart from this, there was a controversy a few months back when the Deputy Governor of Reserve Bank of India, Viral Acharya, actually resigned. Now, what was the controversy? He said that government is infringing into the RBI's autonomy. So here we can say that the we can say that is RBI the working of RBI is under threat. Now the there are a lot of questions surrounded, but for the conceptual clarity. I am bringing this lecture, small lecture, to understand what is the process of transferring surplus amount from RBI to government. Now here the question arises that RBI is giving certain amount of money from its reserves to central government. Now the first of all we need to understand what are the items or what constitute the reserves of Reserve Bank of India. So here we'll see that what constitute the reserves of Reserve Bank of India. Now for that we'll draw a simple flow chart that is reserves. Now there are three types of reserves. So we'll see what are those. The first one is currency and gold revaluation account now here this is known as C C G R A this is currency and gold revaluation account the next one we have is contingency fund in short we'll write C F the next one is the asset development fund that is ADF. Now here these are the three types of reserves that RBI is having. Now what constitute the most is the first one that is currency and gold revaluation account. It consists of around 6.91 lakh crore in the year 2017-18. So this is the amount that currency and gold revaluation account is currently having in 2017-18 financial year. Now what how RBI earns on this particular account is just revaluation of foreign currencies as well as revaluation of gold. So the increase in the value of currency and the gold will fetch or actually fetched RBI 6.91 lakh crore of amount in 2017-18. Now this has been growing since 2010. So this amount, this actually particular amount and the growth in this particular account has been rising since 2010 at a 25% compounded annual growth rate. So you can understand the amount of growth or appreciation on the currency, foreign currency as well as the gold that RBI is actually accumulating. So this is the, the current perspective of this currently figure stands at 6.91 lakh crore. The second one is about contingency fund. Now in the contingency fund, so that last around 2.3 lakh crore, obviously in 17, 18, the same fiscal. So 2017, 18, the contingency fund actually is having the total amount 2.3 lakh crore. Now what constitute this contingency fund? 
Now this contingency fund RBI actually timely uh, putting certain money amount of money from this account to contingency fund account in order to mitigate the exchange risk that is depreciation of rupee etc and the monetary policy decisions so two kind of contingency that rbi is taking uh, the control about this under contingency fund first one is monetary policy decision second one is currency risk now this constitute 2.3 uh, lakh crore in the current fiscal in the fiscal of 2017-18 the asset development fund actually having very minimal amount so we are not concerned about this account now what will happen if RBI is actually continuously uh, transferring these kind of surplus? Now the question arises why government is demanding. Now government is saying that RBI is having these surplus way beyond the global norms. So what RBI, what RBI is saying that we are having these kind of surpluses but government is saying that these are figures beyond the global norms. Now the question arises what are the global norms? So for that, in order to understand or analyze the global norms, what RBI did, RBI in 2018, December 2018, RBI set up a committee under the chairmanship of Bimal Jalan. Now Bimal Jalan, you must uh, been aware about this person. He was the former Reserve Bank of India governor. Now this Jalan committee as informally knows or we can say formally the name of this committee is expert committee to uh, the review of RBI's extent capital economic capital framework. This is the full name of this committee. Again I am repeating the name. Name is very important. Expert committee to review RBI's capital framework RBI's extent to economic capital framework. This is the name of the committee. Now Bimal Jalan committee what Bimal Jalan committee suggested. Now we need to understand. They talked about contingency fund. Under contingency fund, Bimal Jalan committee is of the opinion that from 5 to 5.5% 5 .5 to 6.5%. If the reserves are between this category, obviously this 5.5% between and 6.5% of RBI's balance sheet. Of RBS balance sheet then these amount is in a comfortable position right now we can say that this amount is around 6.8 percent of our central bank's balance sheet so what Bimal Jalan committee is recommending that RBI is having this amount in under contingency fund is in surplus so what Bimal Jalan committee said that we can maintain at the floor level limit floor level limit means the lower limit so around 1.3 percent they can transfer to government of India. Now, so that constitute around 53 lakh crore. Now, talking about this, this is the most important account that is the currency and the gold revaluation account. Under it, what Bimal Jalan committee is suggesting that the comfortable position is 20 to 24.5% of RBI's balance sheet. Currently, RBI is having 23.3%. So again, it means in a comfortable position in that particular bar. But what Bimal Jalan is suggesting that they can transfer some amount of money to government. Now, after seeing this, that is around 3.3% to maintaining the floor level limit that is 20%. The total amount comes out as rupees 1.23 lakh crore. So this actually the total when we do this it comes out as 1.76 lakh crore so this is how the jalan committee suggested that rbi can transfer 1.76 lakh crore to government of india now what's the need because because government is struggling with the shortfall in the gst as well as the direct tax revenues so that's why government needs certain kind of funds so what are the repercussion of these now the Main question is what will be the impact on the RBI? The impact on the RBI is obviously we can say not very immediate because this will actually not immediately affect the working of the RBI but what it is doing it is actually pulling certain we can say certain kind of room from the RBI in order to face certain kind of financial crisis or global crisis because extra cash is always comfortable to face certain kind of crisis so that will provide cushion that is actually eroded now to the floor limit 
from 5.5 and here 20 percent now what is the concern from the government side that this is obviously a one-time effect and government cannot rely on these kind of uh, funds so what government needs to do here government is trying to do or try to expedite their uh, revenue part as well as rationalize their expenditure part so raise the revenue and rationalize the expenditure that is what government can do right now so for the time being we can say this is obviously not affecting much rbi but it is we can say that in order to preserve the rbi's autonomy it is very vital to have certain kind of regulatory norms regarding a surplus transfer to central government i hope you understand this video if you like this video give a big thumbs up and do mention in the comment box if you have any doubt any suggestion anything you want to ask apart from this we are having the mobile app of ecolix where you'll have all the courses on economics optional uh, indian economic services ugc net econometrics mathematical economics etc for that you can visit our website ecolix.in apart from this if you like our initiative please do subscribe ecolix and click on the bell icon so that you'll get all the notification Thank you so much. Have a nice day.